chopped apples, pastry, lots of brown sugar, but as I say, no love. Uh, uh, but Ruth, I bet you loved your mum's apple pie. First up, police raid a house in Cleveland and find four dead men in a septic tank. Not the kind of story anyone likes. I do, actually. I love anything like that. Right. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Uh, yeah, right. You mean the apple pie. And the same, though, Ruth. All the pastry turns into a fat back. Well, quite. It's been described as a truly gruesome sight. What? A vision of hell. Dismembered limbs from as oh, many right. as... You, I think you've so got a bit of a delay on the line. a bit of a delay on the line. Copycat. So I'll just, I'll just try and soldier on as best... Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. It's all right. I was just saying the same thing as you said. I should just... Try and push on and assume that you can hear. Yep, go ahead, Alan. No, you go ahead. Shall you I go ahead. So you I'll go try. ahead. I you go care. ahead. It's like trying to have a chat on a webcam with someone in the Philippines. Or bloody anywhere in the world. Yes. Uh, sorry, after you. And, uh, Ruth, stop talking. We're starting again. Not when you get this. Now, Ruth, hello. Hello. Good. Do you like your mum's apple pie? Yes. And I believe the police have found the remains of four dead men in a house in Cleveland. Yes, that's right. Well, tell us about it and give us a long answer so we don't have to keep going back and forth. Now? Yes, now. I should knock on the side of your box. Oh. Well, Ignore as I the said, box thing. it's a grisly discovery. And while the identities of the men haven't been... Con Sorry, the side of my box. The owner of the house has been named locally as 51-year-old Brian Crilly, now the subject of a full-scale manhunt. Well, Ruth, I think we'll leave it there for today. Thank you. You're welcome, Jenny. Uh, let you go and enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> Too hot for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> you back with us next week? The week after. See you then. Bye-bye. Ruth Duggan there.